Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today guys, we're taking a look at a Alolan Marowak Toolbox deck? Question mark? I, I, I guess it's called the Alolan Marowak Toolbox deck. Before we get into the video though, I do want to thank you guys for the support on the water box video I did. I didn't expect that video to do too well. PDC Joe's kind of been, I don't know, kind of slow recently. I was like, eh. I still wanted to get the video out because I haven't uploaded basically in six days since. Um, but the video did pretty good. You guys really liked it. Um, you know, got some pretty heartwarming comments. So I do gotta thank you guys for that. Um, anyways, so let's take a look at the deck. So of course, it's a fire box deck with a little Marowak as kind of a niche. Now, Alolan Marowak is pretty cool. Ripped Alolan Marowak GX. But, let's take a look at the attack Dance of Flames, which is kind of going to be the main attack of the deck um, for energy fusion. So, Dance of Flames for no energy at all. Look at that, you don't need a single energy. For each energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon, attach a Fire Energy card from your discard pile to your Pokemon any way you like. Now, that's a pretty strong attack. Now, there are some decks that don't play too much energy on the board, like Zoark might not have that much energy on the board, a DC at most. You know, maybe even Galissapod and Greninja. These are decks that are probably not going to have much energy on the board. But, other decks will. And, you know, most decks are going to have energy on the board, right? Volcanians will obviously will. Gardevoir is going to. There's going to be situations where there's going to be energy on the board. Like, even Solvali decks. So, Dance of Flames is pretty strong. Um, though it does rely on what your opponent has, it's a very good late game attack. And uh, we're going to be using Dance of Flames with some attackers here. The first one I went with was Turdinator. I really do like this card in this deck since it provides another version of Dance of Flames with Nitro Tank GX. Attach 5 fires from your discard pile your Pokemon anyway. Like, we're going to be using Nitro Tank as a way to also fuel up our Pokemon. We do have Bright Flame too, which is a great attack. So Turdinator is one of our main attackers. I was really just going to make a Turdinator um, Marowak deck, but I feel like I wanted to put ho in here. I mean, ho is just pretty strong, obviously Phoenix Burn is a great attack. The thing I like about ho -Oh, it helps you in matchups against Zoark where you can just slap a DC, a Choice Band on or do one Steam Up and knock him out. Instead of having to have double Steam Up or Choice Band Steam Up on like a Turnator to knock out the Zoark. We do have more answers to Zoark though than just ho -Oh, but ho -Oh is pretty nice in here so it's another strong attacker. And of course we have our Volcanian EXs, mainly for Steam Up. I mean, it's a good card because it is a water type, so if you are playing against, like, a Salazzle or something, you can hit him for weakness. Something that a lot of people probably never really consider about Volk. I've never really seen people take advantage of the water type and say, well, I'm playing against a deck that uses fire Pokemon. Better not use Volcanian. Better go for my Hobo Returnator. It's like, bruh, it's a water type. So, it's something that I've seen people make mistakes on before. Something that no one really makes takes advantage of is Volcanian's water type in other matchups against fire. But yeah, Volk is here mainly for steam up, but you know, if we do need that water type, we do have it. And you might be wondering, why is Solvali GX in this deck? That is too many stage ones. No, it's not because we've already known this format is pretty built on stage ones. But Solvali is here mainly for the ability. Honestly, it's just for the ability. That's about it. Um, I mean, we can use Turbo Drive as another way to get energy in play. I mean, we got Turnator, Marowak, Baby Volk, and Solvali. All ways we can get energy going from the discard pile, so it's it's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so Volley's mainly just here for the ability. We do have Turbo Drive, which is not bad either. Rebel is okay, um, but again, with Nitro Tank, it's like, I don't know if we're even going to use Rebel that much, but you know, we do have Rebel. It's an option. It's an option. Um, we do have it. We do play Fighting Memories, so this will help our uh, Zoark matchup a little bit more. Even though I think it's decent as it is, Fighting Memory will just improve it. And uh, it's mainly just here for free retreat, you know, Turtonator has a bigger retreat cost, Ho has a bigger retreat cost, Volk. I just really like having the free retreat in this deck. Obviously, Volcanian, Sovali is already a deck that's been seen some popularity. People do like the Sovali in Fire in uh, Volcanian, so it's like, why not just throw it in? It's already a popular card Volcanian already plays. Right now, anyways. I did look at a Sovali Turtonator Volk deck before. It's not the same deck because... Rarely are we going to even attack with Solvali, and before all my matches I use Solvali to attack with, but yeah, Solvali is here for that ability. Even cutting it down just to like one Solvali instead of having two is fine by me, like you can go two nulls and then like one Solvali instead of having two. I'm going to go with two though, because if one gets prized, it's like, rip. And uh, we do have our one baby folk with Power Heater, I mean it's just a good card, but with all the ways we get energy back, we only really need one to be honest with you. And uh, we got our two Leleys for Wonder Tag. We're not going to rely on Kiawe in this deck because, again, it's not like we are worried about getting energy going, so we might as well just play two Leleys. We do only play one Kiawe, too. And uh, we got our two Cubone. I think there's only one Cubone. No, there's actually, no, there's two, I think. Oh. Win 15 standard matches. 
for two crims. Okay, well, I guess I gotta do a challenge. I do have a Guardians Rising Pact open, so I need to remind myself of that. Um, because I, I was gonna open it up when I got it, it was my daily reward, but it's like, it's Guardians Rising, if I pull a late, late, be a cool reaction. Um, there's two Cubones, um, none of them, they're both fighting, alright, well, this is obviously the good one, because it has Leer, which is actually not bad, so, yeah, just something to note, I was just curious if there was more Cubones. And yeah, those are all of our Pokemon. Stuff that you could consider adding, I guess, it's a Lazzle, but we already have Silvali and Mare, that's just too many stage ones. If you want, you can throw in, you can throw in Salazzle, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, maybe like another fire type attacker, maybe like a third Volk wouldn't be bad, Volky X, maybe like a third Turk, second ho -Oh, split it up, but I think it's fine going with what we have. There's already good attackers, like Silvali can already carry itself too pretty nicely, so it's not like we need, because Dance of Flames, you can put it on any Pokemon you want, it doesn't have to be fire types, so you can just Dance of Flames on Lele, on Vol, on Silvali, so the options are there. So let's go into the items. One E-Hammer, I know you're like, why would you play E-Hammer in this deck? It does make, it makes absolutely no sense. Wouldn't it hurt your Dance of Flames? Yes, it would, but E-Hammer is just too good not to run, especially if you're playing against, like, Greninja or, like, a Rainbow Energy. I'm gonna use this, right, you know what? I know it may seem very counterintuitive because of Dance of Flames, but I'm still using E-Hammer in here because I feel like it's still important to have, especially in the early games. Um, it could be great against Gardevoir, too. Um, two Field Blowers, of course, it allows us to get our abilities back. Four Max Elixirs, just, I guess this is a Turbo deck, so we're going to play as much Turbo as we can. I'm going to play one Nest Ball. We don't play Bridget in here, as you may notice. Um, which, you could play Bridget, obviously, but the problem I have with Bridget, there are times where you want to grab Volk. Fan Club might even be better, in all honesty. Um, but I feel like the one of Kiawe kind of compensates for that no Bridget, so I'm just going to run Nest Ball instead. I feel like it's just better. Um, one Stretcher to get back our Pokemon. I kind of want to run two, to be honest with you, but I'm just going to settle with one. Four Ultra Balls. To be able to grab our Pokemon, get energy in the discard, we got our three Guzmas, the normal, we got our four Ns, which is normal, we got our four Sycamores, which is also normal. I am playing one Kiawe, this is kind of going to be the ace card of this deck, is Kiawe. Um, I would consider not running it, just because it's already kind of like, I don't know, there's so many ways to get energy and play, do you really need it? But the turn one Kiawe's are still really good. The only other card I would consider adding would either be like, Fan Club slash Bridget, or maybe like, Ace Roller. Ace Roller isn't bad. I, I do kind of want to run Ace Roller in here also if I can find room. Maybe you can take out the E-Hammer and run Ace Roller. It's really up to you. But I'm still going to play E-Hammer because I still really want to play it in this deck. I feel like it's going to help you in more situations than it's going to hurt you because it hurts your Dance of Flames. Three Choice Bands, of course, to do more damage. Finding Fear Bell isn't bad either, I guess, but because of the 210 HP, 200 HP format, Choice Band is important. And we got our Finding Memory. Of course, just for Silvali in case we need it, and before second memory is ten times better. I'm playing two floats, you're probably like, why would you play two float stones? Well, Marowak is not a basic, and it's got a two retreat cost, and you're not going to have energy energy on it, so you might as well play float stone. That's also why I wanted to play Ace Rolla. And we got a total of 13 basic fire energies. So this is my Turdinator Marowak deck. Like, or Marowak Firebox. We'll call it Marowak Firebox, I guess, for today. Um... Yeah, it's a pretty cool deck. I, I kind of like it. So let's see if this deck performs well on PDCGO. There might be a point in the video where I end up taking out E-Hammer if I don't like it, but I feel like E-Hammer is just going to be better than having, like, another supporter. I don't know. Maybe. I, I'm kind of iffy on the E-Hammer thinking about it. Who knows? I'm going to take it out. Who knows? But yeah, this is testing. It's not the official final build of the deck, I guess, because you guys can always modify it yourselves. Tell me how it goes. Let's go find some matches of the deck on PDCGO. See this deck in action, and let's see if Marowak... Alright, let's get some matches with our Marowak Firebox deck. I just realized this, this is a Firebox deck, and we just made a video on a Waterbox deck in before my next video is Grassbox. I, I have been meaning to make a Genesec Venusaur video, which technically is a Grassbox deck, because I would run stuff like Bulu and maybe Verizian in there, maybe even Shaman. So, maybe I should just turn into a box channel series, where I, where I make videos on on toolbox decks on different types, like Metal Box, which technically I just did a Metal Box deck with Metagross, that's like, what, and a Reggie, Reggie Box, so that's like, what, four box decks in a row? Told you, I should be a box channel, nah, that'll be the day, and the same day I uh, grow a pair and ask this girl in my classes for a number, um, so we are gonna win the coin flip, which is good, we are playing against, looks like a Firebox deck ourselves, it's gonna be a mirror match, again, the problem when you're playing against Fire v Fire is Volt having that typing advantage is pretty pretty big. And I gotta do something about this internet here real quick. All right. So we're gonna open with Lele. Hmm. Volcanian is kind of iffy. I guess we'll see. I do want to get a Sofali down though. Maybe just building up Tapu Lele GX would be okay. 
Honestly, maybe Lele would be a better attacker here. I mean, you can do decent damage, right? Who knows? Okay, um, I am gonna attach the active, because again, we can attack with Lele. Um, and I'll guess I'll end him here. I gotta hope I can get like a couple, like a Pokemon or something. A Type Null would not be bad. Hopefully my uh, game does not disconnect. Yikes, we didn't get it. Rip. We got Marowak and Soul Holly, but we didn't get the Pokemon we needed. Oh boy. Guess we have to pass. I'm just gonna try and ignore that. I, I don't wanna be complaining about my internet every single video, so I'm just gonna try and ignore that. And uh, we'll see if I get disconnected or not, of course. Ooh, another N. Okay, that's pretty good. I probably would have ended him there too with Lele, but I don't know if I want to have two Leles in play with this deck. So, that's fine. Okay, we finally got a Turdinator. Unfortunately, we are going to lose our Rescue Stretcher, though, which is not good. He's playing Entei. Okay, that's cool. I think I'm just going to go for Volk. Volk might be more preferable in this matchup, only because of the typing advantage, but, I mean, the weakness is a bit of a killer. We'll see. I don't know. Fire's going to be really good. You got no energy to play that game, or that turn that game, what am I saying? I'm actually, you know what? I'm feeling pretty comfortable here. We can just Kiawe and build up our Turdinator. Why not? I mean, there's literally no harm in that. And uh, we can go... Mm, do we go all the way? Nah. I don't think we're gonna get knocked out anytime soon. But I think I want to keep some energy just for later. Like, if I do hit Max Elixir, I don't want it to be dead. So I might as well just go three energies instead of five. I was thinking of going five or four there. There's no need to have that much energy. Like, I doubt he's going to be able to attack my Turnator this turn, but, like, if he drops a Lele, it's like, okay, cool. Okay, so he does get a Sycamore. I wouldn't mind taking out this Vault, though. Ooh, two tools down the drain. Let's see if he goes into the Vault or not. How many? I know, I know, I gotta stop checking this. It could probably be five seconds. Okay, just one energy. Let's see if he retreats. Ooh, he doesn't. Okay, we'll dump Stretcher and Goose. Yeah. Grab Volk. Steam up. I almost thought I was knocking him out for some reason, but I forgot I'm only doing 160. Okay, the Stretcher is a bit of an in yeah, a bit of a big loss. So. I didn't really want to lose Guzma, because I'm going to try and take out two vaults in uh, a couple of turns, but it's fine. Okay, we do find our Q-Bone. Another Turdinator is not bad either. Max Elixir. We got a Guzma in our hand too, which is really good, so that's nice. I think I'm just going to... Yeah, because we do need something to counter that Entei. And uh, yeah, we may as well just Bright Flame. And then next turn, we are going to take out this Volcanian. And the goal at that point should really just be take a prize almost every other turn. Unless we get into four. But I still have I still have my other Lele, so I'm still praying we can pull off a Guzma in the future here. Because I do want to Guzma and knock out that Volcanian on the bench. Once if we get rid of his Volks, he's gonna be harder for him to knock us out in one hit, and we also get rid of that water weakness. So that's nice. See a professor's letter for two energies, that's fine. I mean, he can charge up both Entei. I'm not really scared of Entei, though. It's not really, it's not doing enough damage, you know? I mean, it is, but it's not at the same time. Plus, we're taking out two of his folks here, and he's lost two tools already. And Entei, we can just take out Entei once we charge this thing up. So, we're in play. I do want to use Marowak this game, though. I mean, this deck is a little speedy. The, the, the Kiao would be pulled off, would not be pulled Ooh, lose by himself. Oh, I see. He's bringing out the Volk. I see. He's probably setting up a Brave Burn play, which is kind of clever. It's fine, though. If he doesn't play Max Elixirs, this is fine, uh, but we'll see. And another Volk. I'm going to hold that. And uh, we're just going to uh, uh, Guzma up this other Volk. And then we can just Nitro take next turn. And we'll take him out. There we go. Good game. And we'll take our two prizes. Hopefully, if there's a supporter prize, we can find it. Not what I meant, but it's cool. No, I'm kidding. 
The fire energy is really nice. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to win next turn, but we're going to set ourselves up too, because we'll just do Nitro Gang next turn, basically. At that point, it's like, how do you win? I think I'm going to put the other Volk down too, just build them both up. If he plays Max Elixirs, we could see a Brave Burn, potentially... Well, actually, no, because he would have brought out... No, he could still put Float on. He would have brought out Star you if he's devoting a Brave Burn play this turn, but it doesn't look like he is. He's doing 50, so I'll have 140 HP. Okay, he would need to do Steam Up next turn knock me out, so maybe we can find a field blower. I'll just do Nitro Tank. At that point, it's like... It's game. So I don't really... I'm not really too worried here. The fact that he's not knocking me out is just nice. You know, I'm taking a big chunk of damage out, but... Uh, yeah, Nitro Tank. So, what do we want to do? Do we want to end up? Fighting memory. Rip. Okay, I'm going to put Volk down, just so I can have two in play. I am going to put a Flowstone on the Cubone. Really tempted to end him here. I'm actually really tempted to end him. But that'd be stupid. I might as well hold this so we can do Goose my next turn. Maybe. Because we're probably going to get knocked out. But Nitro Tank GX. So, we'll put one here, one here, and two there. And I guess... Maybe I could just shell trap him for the memes. Yeah. Get knocked out. Well, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. We might as well just put it on the other Terminator. Probably gonna be able to retreat this turn and just. You guys, if he needs two energies, he can knock me out here, but we will win the game. I hope he knocks me out, because we don't have a way to goose my hit this turn. So there's a Skyla, probably confirming the KO, and before it's for a third professor's letter. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh, field blower. Okay, that's fine. I regret putting the float bound, but I did want to play a couple cards in my hand, but I did want to go overkill in case he did try to, like, trap my Q-bone. But again, I don't think it matters. We have two vaults built up, but that's fine. Actually, we can just retreat this turn, too, but it doesn't knock me out. We won't be able to win the game. I think I'm just going to burn the fighting memory. I don't know. I didn't want to play it, but I think it's fine at this point. Okay, so he is going for the knockout. Does he have it, though? If he does have it, I mean, it doesn't matter, we'll just retreat. Yeah. Um, and, like, unless he does some random red card play in a break man. He's not gonna fall, okay, cool. And that is game. We can either Guzma with the Ultra Ball for Lele, or just do this. He has weak to water, right? Yeah, cool. And that is match. We didn't get to use the Marowak. We didn't even get a Sohali down, so hopefully in the future we do, but we, we just had such a speedy game there, it's like, we were kind of already going at a pretty quick pace, so it's not like it's a big issue, but we are going to open up a couple packs here before we get into our next match. Um, we got, oh yeah, I forgot, we, we actually were really close to getting those coins, which is good. Okay, so we can buy two packs. Now... I'm actually buying Burning Shadows, because I still want to get a 4th Guzma, I still want to get some Guardies, maybe, like, some R Shadows, so I'm actually still buying Burning Shadows, like, ooh, for Alligator, we don't even have enough, what am I saying, who cares, could go Double Crimson, could even die Guardians, but I'm actually going to get Burning Shadows, because I still have a few cards that I'm looking for in that set, and I am going to open up probably the Burning Shadow packs first, I'm going to save the Guardians Rising one for last. I mean, it's probably better to pull Lele or, like, DCE over Gardevoir. Who knows? So, first Burning Shadows pack. Okay, that's not terrible, I guess. I mean, I already got enough, but it's fine. And, uh, we'll open up our another sh pack here. Praying we get Guzma! Or, like, a Guardian or, like, something good. Dark Ride, no rip. Oh, that's fine. 
I'm still gonna keep buying Burn Shadows packs, because I still want to get what I need now. If this pack wants to give us our good old friend Tapu Lele, who's secret DCE, that's really it. There's not really that much value in this set, unless you want to give me, like, a Rainbow Rare. Like in Rocker Drampa. Oh! Did I just call that? What the? Dude, what is with me and calling Rainbow Rares? I just... I just called a Rainbow Rare Zoark the other day. Or the other day, what am I saying? When Shiny Legends came out, I go, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so, oh yes. I have four Drampas now. I am. It could have been worse, you know, it could have been Rainbow Rare Vikable, Rainbow Rare Komoo. I'm glad it was actually a Rainbow Rare that's pretty decent. Drampa, Lycanroc, and Lele are probably the three best Rainbow Rares you can pull, to be honest with you. So that's actually a pretty good pull. I'm, I'm actually been doing pretty good with the Rainbow Rares, like Rainbow Rare Tauros, Rainbow Rare Gardevoir, Rainbow Rare um, Zoark, Rainbow Rare Drampa, though, like, I'm getting pretty lucky with the Rainbow Rares. I mean, it's not a whole lot, but I seem to not have bad Rainbow Rare, like, and Rainbow Rare, I'm not gonna fight Holy cow, everyone's playing fire tonight. That's fine, I guess. I mean, I should have recorded my water box video <laughs> before. We do have a decent opening hand, though. If he doesn't play so volley, we might have an advantage. No turn with Kiawe, though. That kind of sucks. Alright, let's just see how this goes. The double f the double fire matchup is a little awkward, though. I'm not gonna lie. Enum, hopefully we can get Null, Ultra Ball, or Nest Ball. None of the above. Rip. I wouldn't mind going for ho either. Hmm, I think I'm just gonna save this hand, actually. Nah. Let's just build up Silvali. If we can draw, like, a Guzman. I was gonna say, we can maybe get, like, a Guzman for next turn. We can try and take out that Volk. But we'll just pass. Hopefully we get End. Maybe. I don't really like losing field blowers so early on. Like, it really sucks when you have to discard your field blower in, like, in your first couple turns. Because they don't really tend to put tool cards down that early. Ooh, two energies. Yikes. He could do Kiawe here, actually. Kiawe would be interesting to see. No, just a folk. Okay. Now, it'd be great if we could draw Guzma. Don't know why I'm talking in that accent. Maybe two nest balls isn't bad. Okay, no supporter, which is not bad either. He might have like a goose in his hand. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we're not knocking him out, so I guess we can just do this and get rid of those energies so we have two to work with. Alright, still new things that I need. Hmm. So either I grab. I'm tempted to grab Type Null here. Now I'll grab Volk. I need to put the pressure on. I don't want to just have this be the Volk show, though. So we'll see. But next turn, we do have a knockout, which is going to be pretty nice. Though we're going to get knocked down return. So I need to build up another Volk. As long as our baby Volk doesn't get knocked out, we might be okay. Spelting the active. Oh no, we had a Sycamore. He must have. Oh, we, okay. I see. I told you I had a Goose. Changes everything. We could take out his Turdinator, we could take out a Volk. Obviously, Volk's just a bigger threat. There's a Steam Up. Uh. uh no, my Volk! That's a knockout. And a Field Blower. Okay. Rip me even more. Is that a knockout, actually? Yeah, it is. I thought he was doing 70. Rip. Okay, that's not good. We need to get a Q-Bone online ASAP. Alright, what do we draw? Yikes, that's not a good draw. Hmm. Turnator goes down next turn. We weren't able to build this guy up quick enough. 
But if he doesn't end me, what I might be able to do is try and Lele for, like, a Sycamore and hope that I can hit a Max Elixir and a Fire Energy. I guess that's the plan. May as well just take out this Volk with the Float on it. Take away that free trade option. See what our prizes are. Ultra Ball and another Ultra Ball. Now I'm praying I don't get in here, but the Ultra Balls will help the odds again lately, I guess. He's bringing out the Volk too. Might do Nitro Tank if he doesn't knock me out. I'll just do Nitro Tank. He's gonna end me. Rip, dude. Stop having the perfect hands. Please give me a supporter. Okay, Lele works. Another field blower, wow. Okay. We still have... You know, we still have one choice band, so that's important to note. Though, we're still, you know, good for steam up, so it's not that bad. Is he gonna get rid of it? What's going on? Okay, I don't know why... I don't know why this guy's not getting rid of my... Like my legging? No. I don't know. Okay. Oh, he got rid of the okay, I see. He wants to be float still. No, no, no. Man, why are you getting these perfect hands where your enemy feel boring getting float? Oh my goodness. <laughs> the salt is real. Are you serious, bro? How how do you get these perfect? Uh, where's our other Volk? Surprised. Alright, I'm about to grab Terminator. Dang, bruh. Why? Could end him here. Or I could do this much in Nitro Tank. I think I end him. played a few supporters, but I still think it's fine to end him here and try and hurt him. Okay, we found our float, which is important. Really wish I had my Sovali online. It's probably what I get for only playing the two, or not even having like a Bridger fan club. I'm actually okay with doing Nitro Tank here. Because we can Lele for Guzma next turn, assuming he's going to retreat into the Volk. Okay, so we can go two here, one there. Probably gonna retreat like Bridget. Okay, wow. All right, that's actually a good sign then, because we stuck in the active. We don't have to go Goose. Oh, he's gonna remember it down. I mean, if we knock this out, he doesn't have much else energy in play. Okay, that's nice. Hey, there we go. All right, we don't have to grab Guzma, so we can just Sycamore. I mean, I could Guzma. Obviously, we need to take out this thing. Once we take that out, we just need to find a Guzma, which you know should be okay. Even though we are, we don't have the Waylay option, so hopefully this goes well. There's a cubo. Do I even want to put it down? I did say I want to use Marowak. Might be too late, though. Okay, so first things first, we need to... We need to do Steam Up first. I mean, I could have put Choice Band on, I guess, but... Nah, I'm gonna pass on that. I'm gonna... Actually, hold the energy. And uh, we are gonna Bright Flame. I'm assuming he has a uh, Octillery in his hand or Ultra Ball, maybe. Okay, those are not cards I wanted to see. So we won't be able to win next turn because we don't have our Guzma. I mean, we only have two, so. 
We'll see what happens. He also take three prizes to win the game, which is nice. He gives up artillery. I mean, he could do nitro tank here too. As long as there's an enemy, he should be good to win next turn. If he does go like nitro tank, because we can just grab Silvali, retreat into vault, just knock him out with volcanic heat. I really want to use Marowak though, but I haven't gotten a chance to. I want to try and at least get a game where I use Marowak, so that'll definitely happen. Kind of scared of N, not gonna lie. And N would be devastating. He's only played one, two. Like if he ends me and I don't get like a sick or something, could be in trouble. I'm just a power eater. Okay, so we don't have the game unless we draw a Guzma. get a Vulcan and a steam up or a choice band or like another funny fairy belt to knock me out so we might be safe here I mean I couldn't just go into Cubone here which I think actually might be the better play because we have the free retreat so we don't have to worry about Cubone getting knocked out or not being you know stuck in the active Force him to get a Guzma. But from this hand, whatever he knocks out, you know, we should be able to win next turn as long as we don't get enemy with the choice band. Okay, he's got how much? Wow. Rangro and Artillery, that's a first. Alright, let's see what he finds. Part of me wants to do Dance of Flames just because. Uh, how much energy do we have? Yeah, we could do Dance of Flames just for the maximum memes, but I don't think it matters at this point. All right, let's see if he finds N or Guzma to disrupt me. I mean, he could maybe. Nah, nah. Savali should survive. I was worried about Savali. He could Guzman the active and then like Bright Flame. Oh, Countercatcher. He's gonna bring out Savali. No, Volk. Huh. Okay, probably just wanted to burn that. I really thought he was gonna bring out Savali for a sec. Glad he didn't. Alright, can we just draw Guzman over the game? Sycamore. Might as well play it. There's our Guzma. Hold on. Now, do we have our other Flipstones? Yeah, I'm not. I was gonna put Freddy Memory, but I'm not going to. You know what? I, I mean, we're kind of just chilling, so we might as well just do this and just say, "Well, I can dance the flames." May as well take advantage of it while we still have it. I mean, why not? Oh, I still want energy. What do you know? Put on Lele so we can attack. I said this was the Marowak deck, so I want to do it once we didn't. I mean, we could have knocked him out with Silvali there, technically, but, you know, we might run the risk of being choice banned, steamed up. I don't know. I'm just playing it safe, and I want to use Marowak. If I get a chance to use Marowak, the safest way, we got him. We have game next turn, unless he ends me, and it looks like that will indeed be match. Because that was not a Guzma. It's probably going to stick him in the active, but we got our Guzma, so it's game. Alright, I am happy. We at least got to use our... We got to use our Marowak, and we showed also Valdi, so I am proud of the results of today's showcase of the deck. I'm not going to wrap up the video, but I am a happy camper. And boom, Volcanic Heat for the knockout. And there we go. 
Show it off so volatile. Show off the Marowak, which is all I really care about. Pardon me. So cool. Hey, another Guardians Rising pack. Oh boy. Let's see if we pull something. And we got our daily challenge done. So we got a nice little stack of coins. We'll open up our Guardians Rising pack. And uh, probably find maybe one more match. Might as well take that. You're probably like, why would you take the fire KO? Well, I actually don't really care too much about those free packs you get. I don't know. I didn't I don't think they're worth going for. Daily Evos are easier to do, and uh, they're funner. I'd rather get the coins, right? It's a random pack. So, Alright, let's see. Are we going to pull another Rainbow Rare? Nope, but uh, we do get another Garbodor Reverse Hollow, which adds more bling to my collection. So it wasn't a bad pack, I guess. And, uh, we might as well find one more game with our deck here. I mean, we're on a hot streak. doesn't even matter if we lose at this point, since we showed off the deck pretty nicely already. And before it's a third fire deck in a row. Yeah, it looks like it's a... Vikabulu. Or, I'm praying it's Galissapod, because that's an easier matchup. But we'll see. Probably rather be Vikabulu. No, actually, Galissapod's probably better. Yeah, Galissapod, I'm praying it's Galissapod. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm praying it's gonna be a Galissapod deck. Okay, we open up with Cubone. Which is fine. Makes me really wish I did play Fan Club, because I could have Lele for Fan Club here and grab like a, a, a Type Null and like a Turbinator. I kind of regret that now, honestly. Okay. I think we just do Sycamore here. Yeah, I'll grab a turd. I was gonna grab Ho-Ho, because -Oh, potentially we can build up ho -Oh really easily here, but we'll grab a turd later. And hopefully we can get a Silvali online for next turn. Because yeah, I don't really want my Cubone to be stuck in the active. Rip rip the Guzma though, that could be important. I I can't tell if he's playing Galissapod or Bulu Vigable. Ah, uh, rip, we got what we were looking for. Not really, though. Might as well just do this, and then do the magnet shit down the first. Okay, that's fine. So we can just retreat next turn. Cool. Don't have to worry about it. We'll see if he's playing a Bulu Vikavolt or not. At least I get to use three max looks in one turn. We don't really get many turns we get to do that in standard, mostly. I mean, Bulu Vigable, we can beat for sure. Uh, Choice Band's gonna be the make or break, because if we're attacking with Turnator, we got like 190 HP, and if we're attacking with Silvali, we have like 1, 210, so he would need a Choice Band to really put pressure. But if it's Galissapod, we got more advantages, right? Because he can't one shot us as easily. We have way more power because we're fire, we one shot him. We one shot Bulu, despite him being a grass type, or maybe he's a Sidewipe. Kakui, okay, that confirms it's Vika Bulu Rip. He doesn't get a Pokemon, we actually just win the game here. Did he not get a Pokemon? I'm sorry for your loss, good sir. Light, okay, it is Vikabulu. But did he get a Pokemon? He did. Rip, I was hoping he went there. At least it ain't a turn on Bridget, that's pretty nice. Okay, field blow. Oh, we didn't play it. Okay, interesting. Oh, and he's not even grabbing a grubbin. He's grabbing in a wrangle. I mean, the less turns he doesn't get grubbin down, the better. Just a pass. Okay, cool. There's Marowak. There's our type null. You put Volk down. I'm gonna put that on the active, just keep slamming pressure on him. And before we headbutt him. Um, okay, now we can just probably attack him. I don't really want to 
and we'll knock him out. I don't really want to do the, um, don't want to go into Marowak in case he does try and, like, stall me again. Okay, Ultra Ball's good, so now we have our another Lele to either Guzma or something. So we're looking pretty good here. Looking pretty. Grubbin is weak to fire, so we can probably just knock it out with Shell Trap next turn even, which would be a really good turn for us. Assuming he goes for Grubbin or not, I don't know. We'll see if he gets like a Bridget off or something. We took out one of his Leleys, he's used an Ultra Ball. Who knows what's happening now? Does he even have enough cards to play his hand down? I don't know. Okay, he's going into Coco. We do have to watch out for, obviously, Captain Thunder, but if he doesn't attack me here, we're just going to be at a point where we need, like, literally two more prizes when we win the game. And then she's like, so we're probably going to see a Sycamore here, I'm guessing. Or, no, never mind, he's playing his hand down, that's right. There's only one card in before Sycamore, Bridget. Or in. Let's see. I mean... We're in a really good spot. He'd have to like, yeah, he's conceding. <laughs> Lol. Uh, there you go. Well, I think I'm just gonna wrap up the day's video, guys. I think we showed up the deck pretty nicely. Um, I do like this quite a bit. We didn't get to use Ho-Oh, so maybe like a third Turnator would be better. But again, Ho-Oh, when you do do Marowak's attack and Nitro Tank, is really good. Ho-Oh is sometimes better in some situations at taking out bigger threats like Zoark. We obviously didn't play Zen Zoark. So Folly is something that I would consider maybe cutting down to like a 2-1. I do want to add like a fan club to this deck since there were turns where like again I didn't hit the more, the type null. I keep saying more low, the type null. So it's really up to you how you want to edit this deck. Um, but yeah, give it a try. Tell me how it goes. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like in the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more PCGO content. Help me on the road to 3,000 subscribers. We can hit 3K very, very, very soon. Hopefully, guys. You guys have been killing it recently. Thanks for all the support on my Waterbox deck. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. I'll catch you guys on another PCGO video. And hopefully, I grow a pair and ask that girls for a phone number in my class, Kappa. Okay. <laughs> Bye.